Hello, my name is Abai Zala, and I completed this project with Matthew Pinto. Recently, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, learning has become increasingly difficult. This is especially strenuous for people that require direct physical access to equipment like labware and appliances. New doctors and nurses are unable to get valuable in-person training. This project was aimed to help solve these issues. Our project allows healthcare workers to experiment and learn in an interactive environment and allows them to virtually interact with people, all from the safety and comfort of their home. Now, here's a short demo of our project. Let's begin the vaccine making process. Head to the end of the hall and enter the room on the left. Pick up the virus sample and carry it to your desk for examination. Great! Now we will enter cyberspace in order to isolate the spike protein DNA sequence. First, begin by pulling out the drawer of the mRNA machine. Next, find the spike protein DNA sequence and place it in the drawer. Great! Now grab the DNA polymerase and place it in the drawer with the DNA sequence. DNA polymerase allows us to copy the genetic instruction from the DNA sequence into mRNA. mRNA provides genetic instructions that the cells in our body can read and understand. Using the mRNA instructions, our cells will be able to naturally generate the same spike proteins as the virus. Then our immune system can learn how to generate the needed antibodies to fight the virus. This is how vaccines work. It looks like the mRNA machine has finished combining the DNA sequence and the DNA polymerase. Grab it and place it in the bucket on the side. Great, now we can return to the real world. Now let's take the mRNA sample we have and carry it across the hall. We will give it to the other genetic engineers so they can turn it into a usable form for vaccines. Excellent! Once they're done, we can help deliver this vaccine to the people. Take a vaccine from the table and go ahead and give it to each person waiting. Once inside the body, the cell reads the mRNA and begins to make harmless spike proteins of its own. From there, your body's immune system recognizes the foreign threat and sounds the alarm. Remember to throw this vaccine out now and grab a new one for the next patient. Remember to throw this vaccine out now and grab a new one for the next patient. 